let's see. I... Now we're recording. <laughs> okay. So uh, I see a quorum. Uh, today is January 17th. Uh, this is the Jones Library Buildings and Facilities uh, calling the meeting to order at 9 a.m. Um, so I'm going to perform a sound check to make sure that everyone can hear and be heard. So, uh, Sharon. Yes. Technically part of it. Uh, Paul. Here. And George. Here. And Alex, I'm here as well. So seeing everybody present. Um, pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended by chapters 22 and 107 of the Acts of 2022, this Jones Library Building Facilities Committee meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. Um, da, 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 da. The public is able to comment during the public comment segment posted uh, in the agenda by raising their virtual hand. The meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the Jones Library website. I see we have one attendee with us today, so thank you for coming as ever. Um, first item on the agenda is uh, the minutes of December 20th of 2022. So somebody make a motion. I motion to accept. I second that. Thank you, any comments or changes to the meet to the minutes? None. Uh, George, any? No? Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, vote to approve the minutes of December 22nd, 2022. Uh, Farah? Yes. George? Yes. And Alex is a yes as well. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is public comment. Uh, would our person in the attendees like to make a comment? Seeing none, I go ahead and move to the next item, which is the delivery van update. Um, I have no new news to share. Uh, the van is still in the queue to be built. Um, so that's where we are at. Okay. Any questions about that? Nope. All right. Bumping right along. Uh, North Amherst Library building project update. I have to say I drove by the other day and uh, yeah, wow, things are happening. <laughs> Anyone? Yeah, and you know that's all I know. Um, uh, the roof was being put up. I don't. I don't have any uh, uh, any other updates to share other than uh, Guilford said they were on schedule. That's all I got. I don't know if George has any more. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything further further to add. Okay. Uh, Far, any questions or? No, I too drove past and. It's quite a sight. Next item on the agenda is the monthly building and grounds report. Uh, I don't have anything, George. Do you? Um, the the building and grounds report. Yeah. Sorry, I was a little quiet. Um, the only thing I can report uh, is that. Um, we're in the process of having some work done on our alarm panel system, our burglar alarm. Uh, one of our keypads has been acting up and we were faced with two alternative. One is to combine the keypads. So we are now one alarm zone versus two uh, or replace a ton of equipment which would likely run into tens of thousands of dollars. So we are going to combine the alarm panels so that we are one zone. Um, the only reason they were originally designed as two zones was because uh, when the 90s edition was put on, they felt that it would be great to be able to disarm the large meeting room portion of the building and leave the rest armed. But in practice, that did not work and we've never used the alarm system in that way where we've only turned off one zone. 
Uh, so this won't be a big uh, change or issue for staff who uh, actually have alarm code access. So I'm working on that now that I expect that to happen probably in the next couple of weeks. And that's all I have for building in grounds. Great. Uh, you answered the question that I was going to have already. Um, and Farah, same with you. <laughs> yeah. Has that alarm ever gone off? Oh, yes, all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, it, it's gone off when, when uh, somebody has hidden in the building. Uh, oh. It's gone off when our alarm system is a combination of, you know, alarms at the doors and also uh, audible, which means if there's any strange sound in the building, mm. uh, the alarm company can monitor it and listen in. Uh, one of the great things we learned during the pandemic was that if you leave the fire doors propped open and somebody drops a book in the book drop, it sets off the alarm. Um, so it, it is a very good design. It's a great system uh, and it certainly does its job. So yes, it has gone off. <laughs> um next item is the backup building project planning and i believe when we last met um the update was that there was going to be a meeting with um the folks from town uh i think that was scheduled for january 5th uh so i guess where are we on that and it got rescheduled to this afternoon ah okay okay uh so I'm guessing there are no, no other update then because we're waiting for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Laura, George, any questions, comments on that? Nope. Um, there are no topics uh, not anticipated by me. So uh, unless there's anything else, the world's fastest buildings and facilities meeting. I will be calling it to a close at 9.07. <laughs> so thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for the attending in the audience um, and look forward to hearing about the report uh, from today with the town. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.